So there was a recent uh, case, uh, Supreme Court ruling a couple years ago involving the slants. The slants are a um, Portland-based alt-rock group uh, made up of all Asian Americans. Obviously, their name, the slants, is uh, reappropriating uh, a racial slur um, in terms of for commentary critique, for um, you know empowerment, etc. They've they've you know reclaimed that word, and uh, the slants were an up and coming group, and they were trying to file for a trademark on their name. They did this because in the music industry there's an expectation, especially if you're seeking to um, get signed by a major record label, that you you know amongst the many other business elements that you actually have a federal federal trademark on your name. Now they were denied this by the United States Patent and Trademark Office under what's called the disparagement clause. The disparagement clause is basically says that you cannot in the United States um, file for a trademark on a disparaging word um, for your you know your uh, good or service or, or, or whatever. And the slants was a disparaging word. You couldn't register a trademark on dumb liberals or any racial or ethnic uh, slur uh, in the United States. This is also why the uh, stupid uh, Washington, D.C. football team, the Washington Redskins, had their, tra- their federal trademark pulled um, because it was a disparaging, a disparaging term. Okay. Well, the group... They fought back against this, um, and it went all the way to the Supreme Court. And their challenge was that they had a free speech imperative, that because they were making a commentary or critique and reclaiming the word, that, you know, that uh, trademark law was superseding their right of free speech. And now, you know, in the United States, the right of free speech is very important, and it's considered to be very valuable and important. Uh, What ended up happening is the Supreme Court ruled in their favor, and their biggest cheerleader at the time was the Washington Redskins, because it now meant that, well, actually, their trademark could be valid because they could, you know, use a disparaging term, you know. uh, After years and years of, of groups trying to get them to stop using the name, you know, uh, they, they still wouldn't, still are not, are not doing it. And the judge said this, the disparagement clause violates the First Amendment's free speech clause. And so now you can register disparaging terms. Um, although, you know, you know, I mean, you and I know that the, uh, the football team from Washington, D.C. is not using the word to reclaim it you know, as social commentary for social justice or to make a statement, right? They're just exploiting, they're just exploiting it in, in the marketplace. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you uh, a clip or two from South Park to watch where they, the boys go into this, uh, where they take back, they're basically trying to make a startup that does nothing and they find that uh, every trademark Every name they have for a startup company is already trademarked. And then they, they settle upon the Washington Redskins because their trademark got pulled. So just, you know, have a little joy out of this. Watch, the, watch these clips um, that poke fun at the team from, from Washington and pokes fun at the uh, organization's, you know, uh, justification uh, for using, using that word, um, which, you know, Cartman and the, you know, the, Matt and Trey, um, you know, kind of flip on on the uh, the team from Washington D.C. So, you know, uh, enjoy these clips. Washington Redskins, go fuck yourselves. <laughs>